future enhancement, I'm starting at version 22. And I have a part place here set at 0.25. You know? When I click OK and go back to the test, if I try to bump this part, that part clearance is the distance between my part edges, which results in my tools overlapping. Now, in order to achieve a good skeleton in version 22, the user would have to change their thickness. So I know my parting tool in most cases is 0.25, so I changed my part clearance to 0.75. And now when I nest those parts, there's a good quarter inch gap between them. The problem comes when you have parts like these ones here, where there is a tool that's used on the external that's bigger than my standard parting tool that'll result in overlaps. We move over into version 23 now, show these same parts, and I'm going to set my clearance back to 0.25 for this example. Okay, clearance is set. Also worth noting is that my nest clamp option is set to not under first clamp. So when I go back into the Sigma Nest in version 23 and turn on, well, and I move it up against this other part, the distance between my two parts is now a quarter inch, regardless of my external part. Notice there that none of these tools overlap. Uh, in addition to that, that same bump boundary will work with my clamp option and my sheet edges. The last piece that I'm going to show won't be in 23.0, but it will be in 23.1, our first service pack. Instead of our normal punch bump where we create the skeleton between our punch tool, when I turn on common line bump, you'll notice now that it gets some snap points in the corners where I can place these parts and create a nice common line nest. Now we will recognize that tools may extrude past the edge of the part, or you may have parting tools that are a different size, and we will create that common cut accordingly, or in the case of something that's not a candidate, we'll count those out. So 